What's going on guys? So today we're going to be installing the Perrin wing stabilizers on my car. This is Nestor's car. I think you guys remember it from a couple of videos ago. But he put his on and I think they look really good. And I had these from the previous owner so we're going to go ahead and do that today. So on my car it might be a little easier because when the previous owner had them it left these marks right here. So that kind of gives us an idea of where they should already be. So that might help us a lot. So the first thing you want to do is clean the surfaces of the wing and also of the bottom right here where the tape is going to go. We already did that. So now we're going to take the adhesive strips and then we're just going to line it up on the marks that were already left on the wing. Just like that. So what we're going to do to make this easier is lay it on the adhesive tape with the clear thing over it so it's not sticky and then just set it on there. Once that's in, we'll screw in the two bolts on the top, just two screws on the top and then we'll uh, peel this through the side kind of like this over here. So just peel it off through the side. So then you're just going to pull this plastic piece that we let out and just pull on it. And then that should set down the stabilizer on the stabilizer on the adhesive tape. And then just push down on top of the wing. Get that to stick. Same thing with this side. Just pull the clear part off. So that was a pretty easy and quick install. I think those lines really helped us out, but that's how it looks once they're on there. What do you think, Nestor? Um, I like these. It makes the car look a little bit more aggressive than when it looks stock. Yeah, that's true. I could definitely see that. Stabilizers on his wing. So that's why I brought him out to help me. So thank you, Nestor. And then he also put the uh, window vents on his car so I actually really like that that looks super good except when it rains oh, yeah. <laughs> it just rained on us a couple of days ago but his his STI is definitely coming through so Nestor's also rocking the Subi Troops banner we are gonna get some of those soon so for anyone who wants them we will keep you updated on that hey guys so a couple of days ago I don't know if you guys follow us on our Instagram but I posted the car with the uh, tow ropes in the front of it so this is what happened. I was Nestor doesn't know either, so I'm gonna tell him the story. So I left work, I take off first gear, and then right when I put it into second, boom, my dash lights come on, and I feel the car like super weak. So I ended up realizing that the car had turned off on me. So put the clutch back in, try to start it, nothing. So I backed it back into the parking lot, and I hit up Nestor and I said, "Hey man." When you had your old Impreza, what what were the symptoms of like the timing belt snapping? Because I haven't done my timing belt and it's at 103,000 miles now. So I thought at that moment that I had snapped a timing belt, which would have really sucked because then I probably would have had valve damage. But long story short, I ended up having a short. We checked the fuses and the SBF5 fuse was blowing every time we switched it. So. We switched it for one, it blew right away, right when I tried starting the car. We switched it for another one, blew right away. So we knew that I had a short somewhere in the car. We ended up calling a car electrician. He looked under the car and there was a wire that was getting burnt right by the uh, kettle air converter. So that's all fixed. Um, I'm happy it's not the timing belt, but like I said, that is getting fixed in the next, or not fixed, but 
that maintenance issue is getting fixed in the next week or so so everything's running good right now so I'm happy for that. To get my car home that day since it wasn't starting I called one of my friends Rico and he has a uh, like a small Ford Ranger we just hooked up those toe straps and kind of just pulled the car home it, from my job to my house it's like a mile long so we were like in the center lane just towing the car which was probably super unsafe but I mean we had to do what we had to do to get to the car back to my house so but yeah guys that's gonna do it for today's install video I hope you guys like the uh, small install and there's gonna be more to come after that timing belt that's the only thing I'm waiting on now but thanks Nestor for coming out and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. What's it, friend?